Welcome back. I want to let you know that a tornado warning has been issued for Anderson and Hart County. That means that we do have conditions here on live Super Doppler 4 that indicate we could have a tornado on the ground crossing Lake Hartwell. This is the same cell that we were telling you about just moments ago that was starting to look a little severe crossing over the lake. In addition to that, because of these cells that are moving out of Lake Hartwell and out of Georgia into the upstate, we do have a tornado watch that goes until 9 o'clock tonight for the upstate. I think that will soon pass as this line passes by. This is the action that's in question right now, and this is the warning that has us concerned on Live Super Doppler 4 right there in Anderson County. So if you're watching right now in Anderson, right along the ID5 corridor, you need to seek shelter right now. This cell is heading up the ID5 corridor out of Anderson County into Greenville County, then eventually into Spartanburg County. But right now, the action lies right there over Anderson County, just outside of Hart County. Though you're included in the warning here in Hart County, I can tell you there is no danger. This is now crossing over the Lake Hartwell, and this is primarily a threat in Anderson right now. This warning, as we uh, click it right here over Anderson, will go just north of downtown, and it is heading toward the north and east here at approximately uh, 35 miles per hour, crossing by Grove School. Uh, actually, now moving north at 20 miles per hour. This is uh, near Lake Hartwell, basically right on top of it as this action is moving right along the lake, pushing up toward the north on I-85 right Right here. So this warning uh, in uh, Anderson County does go until 5 o'clock right here that will push into Greenville County. So putting a storm track on it, 432 for North Lake, Pierstown at 444, Piedmont at 456, and then Gant at 405. So if you're just now joining us, we do have an active tornado warning, which means conditions are so that we do have the possibility of a tornado radar indicated right here over Lake Hartwell crossing into Anderson County. Let's take a look at the wind speeds right now across Anderson County and get a closer look. Live Super Doppler 4 and a great spot to be able to see this uh, activity right now. And there's the rotation that lies right over the lake. We got basically two cells watching that one closely as well, but the most concerning one sits right here over the lake as it crosses into Anderson County. And this action right here as we storm track this right here, we'll do a broad one out across the box right here into Anderson County across ID5. Uh, this uh, wind and possible tornado right here is moving toward the northern part of downtown Anderson at 431, Campbell at 439, Piedmont at 457, and Gant at about 508. This rotation looking strong here on live Super Doppler 4, so I do want you to get to shelter right now in Anderson County for watching. This is unfortunately in a typical trouble spot right over the lake. Anytime we get a storm that's borderline, as the storm gets over the lake, the lack of friction, there's uh, less trees and whatnot around the lake right there, they start to rotate, and that could give us that action right there, and that's heading into Anderson County right here. So as we turn live Super Doppler 4 back on, we are watching that cell. It's not as concerning as this one right there. You see that hook right in there? That indicates to me, and live Super Doppler 4 sitting right there on ID gives us that instant look at where these storms are located. And this is moving toward the north and east, uh, slowly actually at 20 miles per hour, right there along the ID5 corridor, pushing up toward the north here. So we'll zoom in closer right here and show you right there on Lake Hartwell where this is. And oftentimes when we get these situations that aren't over the top severe, where there's just not a, an incredible amount of fuel, Lake Hartwell is an area that typically will get some, some activity due to the fact that the lake's right there and there's just not a lot to kind of stop the wind as it goes on through. But right there's that hook as it's moving toward North Lake. You need to seek shelter right in that location. Uh, so we're watching it. It's right there on a boundary that we need to watch closely because to the north, we have temperatures that are in the upper 60s to around 70 degrees. To the south, it's closer to 80 degrees. And that's where this action is happening, right there on that boundary as it moves on through. So this activity needs to be watched closely because in its path, we have temperatures that are closer to 80 degrees. Where it's at right now is in the low to mid 70s. So we've got more unstable air out ahead of this storm, which is why there is a tornado watch uh, for the entire upstate right now, which does include Greenville, Spartanburg, Union counties, Abbeville and Greenwood counties for the possibility that more of this activity could happen. However, this activity that's more pertinent and dangerous is happening right now over Anderson County, and this warning goes until 5 o'clock. As we put a track on this action that's going right now uh, from Lake Hartwell, pushing up the I-85 corridor toward North Lake right now, we need to watch it closely as it's moving toward North Lake Highway.
Weather Service in Greenville, Spartanburg has issued a tornado warning for northeastern Hard County in northeastern Georgia, central Anderson County in upstate South Carolina until 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 4.24 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located 9 miles northeast of Hartwell, or near Lake Hartwell, moving northeast at 20 miles per hour. Hazard, Tornado. Source, Radar Indicated Rotation. Impact, Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Anderson Airport and Homeland Park around 4.50 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Anderson and North Lake around 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Other locations impacted by this dangerous thunderstorm include Townville, Sandy Springs and Sadler's Creek State Park. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. If on or near Lake Hartwell, get away from the water and move to safe shelter immediately. If you can hear thunder, you are close enough to be struck by lightning. Severe thunderstorms can produce large capsizing waves, even on small bodies of water. Move into dock and seek safe shelter now. Do not be caught on the water in the thunderstorm. Please report damaging winds, hail, or flooding to the National Weather Service by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8. I'm Superdoppler 4HD. Uh, we're in the 3D mode right now. You can see that this activity is pushing through Anderson uh, northbound. Right there's that hook. You can see that little drop down right there on the radar. That indicates to me that this cell is rotating, and it's right there on that boundary where we're in the 80s to the south, the 70s to the north, and watching it as it rides right along the I-85 corridor right now, uh, pushing out of Anderson County, out of Lake Hartwell right here. Hart County, uh, you're pretty much in the clear right now. This is mainly an Anderson County, South Carolina storm, and it's moving toward the north and east. This warning does include a, a good chunk of Anderson County. Star, Iowa, you're not included in this. Honey Path, you're not included in it. But Piedmont, parts of Anderson, right along the I-85 corridor, it does. And if this were to continue, it will move toward Greenville, Simpsonville, Malden, and Fountain Inn. So putting a new storm track on it, it would put it in Welcome at 438, Pierce Town at 452, and then around the Anderson Motor Speedway, if you know where that is, about 453, Powdersville, about 507. And that would be the time that would be crossing into Greenville County if it continues on its same path and at its same strength. Let's check on that strength right now as we turn on the velocity, which is our wind speed. This is live Super Doppler 4's way of kind of x-raying the storm. Takes apart the, the, the radar and just shows us where the air is rotating. And yes, we still have some rotation right along the I-85 corridor. So I would not recommend any travel along I-85 right now. It's very possible the tornado sits right in here, right on the outskirts of Lake Hartwell. And how many times have we said Mason's Crossroad, New Light, Denver? These communities are prone to these tornadoes because they're on the other side of the lake right here. As these storms leave Georgia and then move into South Carolina, we get this action that can move on through. Right there at 85, there's some strong winds going toward our Doppler, which sits right up the I-85 corridor in a perfect perfect spot to see these storms and then you got the Doppler radar indicating the winds going away so yes the rotation still sits right here just south of you folks in new light you need to be in your safe spot anywhere in Denver anywhere along the I-5 corridor in Anderson County this is a possible tornado on the ground leaving the late Hartwell area and pushing up toward the north and east let's do a close in storm track right here across where we're seeing this rotation along the I-85 corridor up through Denver and North Lake as it moves up at about 20 to 25 miles per hour. New storm track puts it near Zion School at 435, Mason's Crossroad at 436, Denver at 440, and then Welcome at 441. So within the next five to 10 minutes in these communities. Now, big picture, let's zoom out just a little bit and kind of give you an early heads up where this storm is going in some, some more broad areas here as it pushes up toward the north and east. Now, remember, Greenville, you're not included in this, but it is possible that you uh, do see some action out of this activity. And now we've got a new update as they are continuing this warning. Uh, it is now picking up speed a bit. Uh, the new update has it moving now at 30 miles per hour. It's now located seven miles west of Anderson. So a potential tornado seven miles west of Anderson will be the lo new location at it. And it's moving northeast at now 30 miles per hour. And this 
hook right here is looking stronger than we saw it just a moment ago. So uh, indications are that this could be a tornado right along Lake Hartwell. It's now four miles east of the main part of the channel there in Lake Hartwell, and it's moving toward North Lake. It's moving right along I-85 heading toward Greenville County. This warning in Anderson goes until 5 o'clock. They did trim off Hart County. There is no danger in Hart County right now. You can come out of any kind of safe place you were in there in Hart County, Reed Creek, Hartwell. This is primarily Anderson County, but Greenville County, I want you to go ahead and stay on alert. Greenville southbound, Simpsonville, you're in the path of this storm as it moves on through these areas. So North Lake right there. Let's do a new storm track to give you an idea in this new warning box as this uh, has just been redrawn by the National Weather Service that takes out Hart County. It's moving toward the northeast at about 30 miles per hour. So Zion School, welcome Pierstown Anderson Motor Speedway right there at the top of the hour. So maybe about three or four minutes faster than we previously thought because it has picked up some forward speed here. So watching this activity and again, if you're watching us anywhere in the upstate, a newly issued tornado watch, which means the conditions are favorable for tornado activity. However, this action sitting right here over Anderson County, uh, that is uh, the conditions are, are actually on the table and happening. They're occurring right now in this hook that sits right there over I-5 and another one right there near Clemson needs to be watched for you folks in Pickens County. No active warning there, but I do see the similar trend here as that hook is dipping down right there. There is a low pressure system right over the upstate. We're sitting somewhat cool Greenville northbound in the upper 60s to lower 70s. However, south of Greenville, it's closer to 80 degrees. So these storms are kind of following right along that boundary and picking up on the fact that we do have some instability in the atmosphere in those areas, which is right there where that storm is. Let's look closely at that rotation, see how it's behaving right now on live Super Doppler 4. This is our very own Doppler radar, which sits right here off 85, gives us the instant look. No delay as to where these storms are located right now, which is a crucial tool in situations like this to keep you safe. Right there, south of 85 is where I'm seeing that rotation wrapping up right there moving toward the northeast at about 30 miles per hour. New storm track, a fresh one here, would put it toward Welcome, Mountain Springs School, Pierstown, the Anderson Motor Speedway, just before 5 o'clock right there. Let's check on the rotation with our, our wind speeds right now, which basically isolates the radar. And, yep, still have that rotation sitting right there over I-85. As we look at the, the, the debris field, let's check this out just to see if we're picking up on anything. This is leaving the lake right here. If anything, there might be a little bit of activity showing up right there. What we look for in a product like this is just different colors. And right there is a little bit which co-locates with where the storm could be. Let's turn live Super Doppler 4 back on and see where it is. And yep, right there where that hook is. So if there's a little bit of damage here, that would be where it's located. And that's where the tornado is showing up on Doppler radar. So uh, all of our products are telling us that this very well could be a tornado on I-85 or just north of it at this point. And zooming in just a little bit closer here, we can get into street level and show you where this is located. So there's Mason's Crossroad right there near ID5 on the outskirts of Lake Hartwell. We've left the deep part of the lake. Now we're going kind of the outer fingers of the lake moving through North Lake. There's Highway 178. You need to be on alert right now. This is very possibly heading your way. Mason's Crossroad right there is where that potential tornado is. You see the inflow right there and then the downdraft right here is where we're getting the possible rotation with this right here near New Light 187 and Highway 76. All areas that need to immediately seek shelters. This could possibly be a tornado tornado and it's moving toward the north and east at about 30 miles per hour. As we look at this, as it moves up toward the northeast, we'll put a new storm track on it and put it in motion. There's Pendleton. You're on the outskirts of it, but you're in the warning. You need to be in your safe place because if the storm were to jump a little bit farther north, it would be in the outskirts of Pendleton. This would be in Welcome at 440, Pendleton High School at about 441. Any kind of after school activities, you need to take that into consideration here as we're in that realm of possibility through about 5 o'clock that folks could still be at school, Oak Grove School school and then Willis Chapel at about 451. If you're watching us in and around the upstate right now, this is part of a system that uh, is is wrapping up right here. You see the low pressure right there in the western Carolinas. This is moving right over us. So a tornado watch does exist until 9 o'clock, which means conditions are favorable for tornadic activity. Uh, but this line right here is the one that's producing it. So while we have that possibility, once this line crosses through your particular town, things are going to get a lot better for you. So anybody in Greenville, Spartanburg, Lawrence, Union, Gaffney, Greenwood, and Abbeville, you need to be on alert for the next hour or two, maybe three hours as this activity pushes on through the area because you're vulnerable to the potential for tornadoes. Uh, 
we got the warm air. Really, anybody south of Greenville sitting near 80 degrees. North of Greenville, closer to 68 to 70 degrees. That clash of the warm and cooler air providing the boundary for this particular storm right now. And this is the most dangerous storm that we have in town right now, which sits right over Anderson County, leaving Lake Hartwell. And if it continues, it would move into Greenville County. And we still see some rotation out of this as we zoom on in and show you what we're talking about right here. This new warning does exist for Anderson County. And notice how these basically three cells, one there in Pickens County, one in Anderson County, and one in Southern Anderson County that need to be watched. The most dangerous one sits right now uh, just east of Lake Hartwell, pushing along the I-85 corridor. Let's turn our velocity on right now. We can show you what we're talking about with these three in particular cells. Watching this one in Pickens County, but again, the farther north you go, the cooler the temperatures are, so not as vulnerable to the storm activity. But this one here in Anderson still indicating to us, uh, if not some stronger rotation right here, right across the I-5 corridor. Still need to watch this one closely. This is a dangerous storm that has had a history of uh, giving us some very strong rotation or signatures on live Super Doppler 4, which again is our very own Doppler radar, which sits right off I-5 in a, in a really clutch spot to be able to see this potential storm as it rolls on and through. So North Lake, La France Elementary School, Pierce Town at 454, Anderson Motor Speedway at 455. There's that rotation as it sits right there across the I-5 corridor. There is 85, so I would not recommend any travel on I-85 right now. North Lake to Pendleton, you need to be basically just be in your safe place right now, which is the innermost part of your home. You want to keep as many walls between you and the outside of your home as possible. Get to a low place in your home if you have it, and a bathroom, always a great place. The pipes in your homes uh, really kind of hold those bathrooms up a lot stronger, and most bathrooms do not have windows. Right there is our rotation. It co-locates well with where our other products are showing it. Let's look at the debris field right now see if we're getting any damage kind of lofting up by live super doppler 4 and right there would indicate just maybe a little bit and, it, and it's right there where we're seeing the rotation i'll put my finger right there we'll put it back on our doppler product you can kind of see if that co-locates with it and yep right there we got the inflow of the storm so if there's a tornado on the ground it sits right here very close to id5 and again heading north east at about 30 miles per hour. Anderson, you're in the crosshairs of this right now. If it should continue, which uh, all indications are this is not weakening, it would move into Greenville County. There is Sandy Springs. There is Welcome. There is I-85 and Mason's Crossroad. Right there is the inflow. There's a potential tornado right there in Mason's Crossroad. You need to seek shelter right now in Anderson, uh, very near I-85 and Mason's Crossroad. As we look at this closely, right in there, uh, there's New Light. There's 187. Basically, we're the exit off I-85 to New Light up on 187 right there is where this possible tornado is. And you get closer to Sandy Springs and there would be welcome. So uh, we're getting very close to that intersection of I-85 right now and putting a close end storm track on this. Uh, Sydney's watching this through Sandy Springs. Welcome. It's moving northeast toward Denver, Mount Zion Church, and then Sandy Springs within the next minute or two. A live Super Doppler 4 gives us that instant look. There's no delay with this product, so we're able to show you street by street, uh, minute by minute, where this potential tornado is located, and right there is where it is. We still got a strong amount of rotation with it uh, as it continues on right here, uh, just southeast of Clemson uh, by about six miles. So you're about six miles away uh, in, from Clemson and four miles east of Pendleton at this point. Right there sits our rotation. This is very possibly a tornado on the ground right here and this rotation has actually strengthened a bit as Sydney just puts a, uh, a, a, a loop on this to be able to show us where it's going right here across 85. So folks, I can't stress it enough. Anderson County, you need to be seeking shelter right now as this storm is pushing northeast very quickly. You see Mason's Crossroad, it's now pushed out of your area. It's now just north of North Lake, heading toward Highway 178 right now. Uh, this warning does continue until 5 o'clock for Anderson County as it pushes off toward the north and east at about 30 miles per hour. Big picture right now, conditions are favorable with this line to give us a spin-up tornado. What we have here is a low pressure system that's working on off of some uh, strong winds and, and the possibility in the southern part of the upstate off in the northern part of the upstate it's 68 to 70 degrees. That clash of the warm and colder air allowing for this path and basically a channel for these storms. And the most severe storm that we have right now is where the storm is located. But there's also a storm in question right here in Pickens. And as it crosses
Jackson County that need to be watched. Serious. Alert here in Greenville County. There are alert. Very possible you're sitting in Greenville right now and there's no warning and your phones maybe start buzzing in the next few minutes. That's a possibility I want you to know because this is a tornadic cell that is still rotating. Let's check on our rotation product here and be able to show you uh, where the storms are rotating. This gives us that instant look. Anytime you see bright red or bright green that just stands out, that's where rotation sits right now. And as we look at this activity as it rolls on through the area right now, we need to watch it closely. Getting an update here off the printer as we're seeing this activity in Hart County and uh, the possibility that uh, this is sitting about four miles east of Pendleton and right there, right there is where the rotation sits and it's heading toward 178. So a closer end storm track just north of North Lake pushing up toward the north and east in Anderson County. Possibility that a tornado could be on the ground right here with this activity near Oak Grove School 446, Piercetown at 454, Anderson Motor Speedway 455 and then Wren High School at 502. So we need you to be on alert in these areas. This is possibly a tornado as it moves off toward the north and east at about 30 miles per hour right along the ID5 corridor. Uh, we've got 10 more minutes on this warning. I would expect if they're going to continue this warning into Greenville County, we'll likely see that any minute now as this is part of a line of storms that sits basically from southern Abbeville County up through northern Pickens County. Right here in the bigger red box, that's a tornado watch. That means that conditions are favorable, but not imminent. The smaller red box right here does mean that conditions are, are there and it's possibly on the ground. This is a warning. That's the difference between a watch and a warning. The warning is more imminent and dangerous. It means that there could possibly be one on the ground right now moving on through these areas. And you can see in the southern part of the upstate, this area has had a little bit of clearing showing up on our satellite, and that's why temperatures are closer to 80 degrees in these areas. So where there's more warmth, there's more instability, and these storms are able to take advantage of that activity a little bit more so. We need to watch this closely as it rolls on through the area right here. So Anderson County, let's put a new storm track on this as it rolls on through, as it goes through Anderson. Greenville, you would be next in line for this activity as it pushes on through the area as there's an active tornado warning for Anderson County until 5 o'clock as it rolls on through Piercetown, Powdersville, Greenville at 517. So a new track, if it holds together, it'd be in these communities by about 5 o'clock. So right there in Anderson, pushing toward Powdersville, Piercetown, as it rolls on through, heads up that it could be heading your way. And again, I want to show you the satellite because I've got clearing in Lawrence, Spartanburg, a little bit in Green uh, Gaffney and Southern Cherokee County there. So we need to watch these areas as you're more prone to this activity as it rolls on through. But again, a tornado watch for most of the upstate through this evening, a tornado warning, which means conditions are imminent and dangerous there in Anderson. And this is the cell that we're watching right there. Let's take a look at the velocity here because the wind speeds kind of tell the story right now. The bright green and the bright red where it matches up right there, this indicates to me that we could have some rotation in this area. and. That bright red right there is showing up just east of New Light. And let's get in a little bit closer. There's Highway 76. So you're going down I-85. You get off the 76 exit right there. This is where that rotation sits right there. It's heading toward Highway 178. You need to be seeking shelter right now along Highway 178 near Sandy Springs in La France as it heads north and east at about 35 miles per hour would be the new storm track on it here as we're watching it closely. And... Um, Getting new information in here. Sydney, this is uh, kind of moving very quickly off to the north and east, and that rotation is still sitting pretty, pretty stout right there. Yeah, it really is, and over the last 30 minutes or so, we've continued to watch the cell, and what Chris was just pointing out is it had strengthened ever so slightly, and that's what we are seeing indicated in that bright red and that bright green matching right now. And here's the latest latest track here. We've got 451 Lebanon Baptist Church, Willis Chapel, Chapel at 454. So we're moments, yeah. moments away from seeing that. And just getting new information here, they are going to continue this warning into Greenville County. Uh, you're hearing the alerts go off 
in our studios right now with this activity as it pushes on through. Your phones are likely going off. Ours are here in the studio. Uh, that's from our cell phones. It will override your silent mode, <laughs> that's for sure. And that's a, a safety precaution from your provider letting you know that, hey, the, you're under the warning. And here at the studios, we are, and we will take precautions as needed as we're watching the cell move on out of Anderson County. But now downtown Greenville, you need to be seeking shelter. Do not be traveling in Greenville as this is now moving out of Anderson County. Uh, this would put the storm in Greenville uh, within the, the next 20 minutes. So 5 o'clock, 510, 515, somewhere in that realm crossing the Greenville County line. Uh, Cindy, thanks for that update here. And this is the storm that's in question right here as it pushes off toward the north and east. So uh, Greenville, uh, even Pickens County including this, this will be the southern part. It's going to ride right along the Anderson Pickens County line and watching it closely there. Uh, as it's moving into this area. So the cell in question is right here, and it's moving north and east at about 30 miles per hour. So live Super Doppler 4 in a great spot to track it here for us. So Pierce Town, 452, Gant at 512, downtown Greenville still targeting at about 517. And that's if it holds together and continues at its same pace, it would be in those areas of downtown Greenville about 515 or so. So precautions need to be taken in downtown. 520 for the Greenville downtown airport right there, and it's this cell. Uh, the rotation still sits right here, all right, uh, right there north of North Lake and just south of the Pickens County line. The rotation sits right in that location. This is the cell in question. So this old warning will take, uh, the, the new warning that sits right here across Greenville will take precedence here, and it does go up through Traveler's Rest, east of Taylor's into Greenville right here, farther south toward parts of uh, Woodruff Road, Haywood, the Haywood Mall area, and then Simpsonville northbound, right there on the cusp of that warning as it pushes up toward the north and east, right there along the I-85 corridor. You need to be seeking shelter now in downtown Greenville. You need to not be traveling. So if you have plans or maybe you're going to and from, I get it. It's a busy Monday here. We've got a lot going on this time of the year with school almost coming to an end. You need to just kind of hunker down, stay in place right now in Anderson and Greenville counties. You're now under a tornado warning from this cell right here, which has had a history of giving us some very strong rotation on live Super Doppler 4, which has needed to be watched closely. Our Doppler radar sits right off of ID5 and gives us an instant look at where these storms are located. And right now, the most dangerous storm sits over Anderson County, and it's headed toward Greenville and Pickens County, just south of Easley, just north of downtown Anderson, and moving up toward downtown Greenville at about 5 15. That would be the latest track, putting it in Greenville at 515 from this cell right here. There's another one north toward Pickens. You need to watch both of these cells closely here. Let's look at that velocity closely, and we'll kind of track in closer where this is located. Right there is where the green and the red meet. Anytime you see that bright green, which is what we have on, on Doppler radar right now, gives us that instant look at where the storms are located. So Pierce Town, there's I-85. It's kind of following right along that I-85 corridor right there. There's where the rotation is. Let's give you in a close storm track here into Pierce Town, and then we'll kind of give you a bigger storm track that gives us a fresh look at where this is heading right now. service in Greenville Spartanburg has issued a tornado warning for central Greenville County in upstate South Carolina, northeastern Anderson County in upstate South Carolina, southeastern Pickens County in upstate South Carolina until 5.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. At 4.49 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located 8 miles east of Clemson or 6 miles north of North Lake, moving northeast at 35 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near, easily and Piedmont around 5.10 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. West Greenville, Welcome, Powdersville and Donaldson Center around 5.20 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Greenville Downtown, Cherry Vale Point, Furman University, Bay Area and Greenville East Side around 5.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Take cover now. 
Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Please report damaging winds, hail, or flooding to the National Weather Service by calling toll-free 1-800-267-8101 or by posting on our Facebook page or tweet at using hashtag NWSGSP. Your message should describe the event and the specific location where it occurred. Repeating, a tornado warning has been thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado. We've seen it fluctuate in strength from time to time back through Hart County where we started tracking this as it flared up into an environment that sits right on honestly some cooler and some warmer air. Uh, it's in the 60s and near 70 degrees in the northern part of the upstate but the southern part of the upstate sitting closer to 80 degrees. Yeah that clash with some low pressure and wind energy giving us this threat which sits across the area. Now cards on the table here this is not an off the chart threat today. There's just not a lot to work with in the atmosphere, but this cell that sits over Anderson County is taking advantage of a boundary that sits right there. So this is the, the storm in town that's really got our attention and could possibly be giving us a severe storm. So you need to take it serious here across Greenville County. It's been cloudy. It's been rainy all day. So, you know, our, our senses are not, you know, such that you would think it's a, it's a severe day, but it is right now. We've got a lot of wind energy in the atmosphere with this low pressure that sits back toward the western North Carolina. Carolina. As we see this latest scan come on through, there's still that couplet. Anytime you see a comma or a hook shape on live Super Doppler 4, uh, that is a dangerous look. This one in Pickens County is worth noting, but it's not rotating as much as this one in Anderson County is. Let's turn on our, our Doppler winds right now, which is basically an x-ray. It's our way of seeing inside the storm. How are the raindrops reflecting back to Doppler radar right now? Good news uh, is that uh, the cell is showing signs that it's weakening a little bit, but we've seen it cycle, which is what happens when a storm will weaken a bit and then flare back up. So as we zoom into this circulation right there, you notice the green's not as vibrant or as, or as bright. The red's not as vibrant or as red, but right there along Highway 88, it sits right there moving up toward the northeast. There's the I-5 corridor, Pierce Town, moving up through 88. Right there is where the rotation still sits. It's in a weakened state right now, but that does not mean you should let your guard down, okay? Uh, this cell can cycle, which means it fluctuates down, but also fluctuates right back up. You see that hook is still there. We're going to continue to track this for you here. Five o'clock is where we're sitting at the time right now. Remember, I told you this storm would be in Greenville by about 515, 520, putting a new storm track on this, still targeting it about that time. So the Green Wave Stadium at 509, Gant at 517, the Greenville VA Center at about 519, and then downtown Greenville now sitting at about 523. So within 15 or 20 minutes, we're going to see this storm be overhead of Greenville at a time of day that's not ideal. Folks are getting out of work. You've got a busy Monday. You're trying to get home to your family. I would urge you just to, to stay put where you are. Just, just stay put for about another 30 minutes. Let this storm ride on through because it is going to go through a very populated and busy area of town here within the next 15 or 20 minutes. And that one right there, taking on a little bit more of a concerning shape there in Pickens. Need to watch that one. There's basically two cells. You see the comma right there. You see the comma right here. This has been the stronger storm, the more dominant storm. This one has been worth noting, and I've been watching it closely, but that one's starting to look a little bit stronger than it did before. Let's turn on our Doppler winds right now, be able to analyze this closer in. And then we can put a loop on that to actually show you how the rotation has been behaving. So the wind's not very strong in this pick and storm, but uh, neither were the one uh, the winds with this storm back in Hart County until they started flaring up and ramping up. And that's what we have right now. There still is a degree of rotation right now, but as we put a loop on this, we can kind of slow it down and isolate it. You see those brighter greens right there. And Sid, you can maybe step by step show us this one right here as it moved just east of the lake. Boy, that was that was a really a big flare up right in there, just north of North Lake. Anytime you see the brighter colors, that would indicate stronger rotation, and that was uh, some very strong rotation. It wouldn't surprise me if there was a brief touchdown of a tornado there in North Lake, just east of Lake Hartwell. Right now, that rotation still sits right there. You see the green and the red. That's where they meet. Anytime you see that, that's when you need to seek shelter because that's a dangerous storm that is rotating and has the capability of giving us a tornado. And this is heading toward downtown Greenville at a 
very, very busy time of the day. We're many around the roads, okay? So give your friends, give your family a call right now. Let them know we're tracking a potential tornado leaving Anderson County, heading toward Greenville County within the next 15 minutes. I hope this cell continues to, ro to, to weaken because it is showing me signs that it's on its way down just a bit. However, you see the hook there in Pickens. You see the hook there in Anderson. Anytime you see a hook like that, that is the potential that we have a tornado on the ground. So I want you to be in your safe place right now in Anderson County, more particular right near our Doppler site. You see it right on 85 as you're passing by day in and day out. If you're near our Doppler site right now, you need to be seeking shelter. This tornado is very close to being right on top of you. And in downtown Greenville, you need to be seeking shelter right now as well. What that means is get to the innermost part of your home. Many of you are still at work. If you're watching me right now at work with your work friends, maybe get to an innermost hallway away from windows. Put as many uh, doors and windows between you and the outside part of your, your business or your home as you can. Uh, it's going to be in downtown Greenville at 524. The Greenville downtown airport at about 525 and then pushing toward Taylor's near the mill, near Taylor's First Baptist, near Wade Hampton Boulevard at about 535 right there. This is a dangerous storm that has had a history of producing what appeared to be a tornado on the ground at times. Right now, it's still showing moderate signs of, of being a tornado. You see the green and the red right there, not as vibrant or as ominous looking as it was before. However, that rotation is there. And what we will oftentimes see in situations like this is that they will cycle. They will flare back up with some activity as we get another update in right here. I see it on my Apple Watch. Yep, this storm is still moving at about 30 miles miles per hour, okay? So this would put it in downtown Greenville at about 515. So hold tight where you're at. This is going to be in, it's going to be out. You'll be able to go about your day as planned in Greenville and in Anderson as we get beyond this storm. But until then, you need to be taking this serious. You're watching us right now in Spartanburg and Gaffney. Thank you for trusting us uh, in situations like this. You need to be weather aware. There's a tornado watch, which means, hey, the, the ingredients are, are available for the potential of a tornado today, this evening, okay? But this is the line in question as this arm kind of rotates around this low pressure system. If there's going to be a severe storm, it's going to be in this line right here. I don't see this threat lasting all evening. What I do see is, is this potential line right in here giving us uh, some more ominous weather and that's what we see as the low pressure itself is back here toward the western Carolinas and as it moves toward the north and east it could potentially give us a tornado and that's where the most dangerous weather is is right here across northeastern Anderson County and now moving into Greenville County. All right, so travelers rest to downtown Greenville into Anderson County, riding right along now the Pickens-Anderson County line, and that seems to be where the worst of it is right there, Sydney. And uh, watching it closely here, uh, it appears they're going to continue this warning until 5.30. New update here would have this new warning uh, continuing until 5.30 for Greenville, Anderson, and Pickens County. And now that cell is right there, right there on the Anderson and Pickens County line. So as it continues on its same path, it'll be very close to downtown Greenville, if not just a jog north. So Cherrydale, Paris Mountain, in between Greenville and, 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 and Traveler's Rest. So Powdersville, 510, the St. Francis Bon Secours Hospital, downtown campus, 518. Berea at about 520, and then Taylor's at about 531. So maybe just a, a jog faster. So 515 to 520 would be a time frame here from Greenville up through Paris Mountain, Cherrydale and Traveler's Rest. And this cell sits right there along the Anderson Pickens County line as it's moving on very quickly up toward the north and east. The good news is I have not seen any signs. I've got my Apple Watch on. I've got a, a, a screen here to my left that shows me when damage has been reported. And so far, I'm not hearing signs of rotation or, or, or damage, I should say, out of the rotation that we've seen. Now, if you have seen damage, what you can do is safely let us know. That would help me out to be able to relay that information to folks on, on TV right now with the fact that we've got an active tornado possibly on the ground. And at times, it, Live Super Doppler 4 has shown an anonymous picture, okay? We've seen that rotation tighten up and strengthen in some locations. And that's what we're seeing right now in some of these locations is we've seen uh, that rotation really flare up in some locations locations. 
All right, getting new word here from Greenville County Schools. Uh, Nigel just handed this off to me. Greenville County Schools uh, are, are sheltering in place right now where there's still some activity going on. You got after school activity, ball practices. All buses are getting off the road right now and sheltering in the closest school, the closest area that they can go to right now for safety. So if you're wondering where your grandkids, your kids are located right now, Greenville County Schools taking care of the situation. This is not the first time we've dealt with tornadic situations at school dismissal. So they are going to the nearest school, whether it be an elementary, a middle school, your high school, or it could be an elementary school, whatever sturdy structure they can get to until this storm can pass by, and then they'll resume dismissal activities, okay? So Greenville County Schools are sheltering in place right now, and that's what we're hearing from uh, the folks at Greenville County right now. The storm that's in question that's dangerous right now sits along the Pickens and Anderson County line. It has shown signs of some pretty strength. Uh, some some beefy uh, rotation right now and as it moves toward Greenville we're gonna be watching it closely new track would have it just a jog north of Greenville and that's very close to where our studios are so we're gonna be watching this closely for us here at the studios north toward Powdersville as it moves toward Parker, Berea, Wade Hampton at 530. So within the next 20 to 25 minutes, this is going to be passing through some very busy areas of Greenville County right here. So I want you to know live Super Doppler 4 HD is on the case right now. We're watching it closely and our Doppler radar gives us that instant look at where the storms are located. OK, we don't have any delay in this. That's priceless in these situations to give you a town by town, a street by street look at where these storms are located. And right now there's some large hail and the possibility that this the storm is rotating right there along the Pickens and Anderson County line and it's pushing toward Greenville about to cross the Saluda into Greenville County within the next 10 minutes or so it would be approaching downtown Greenville and pushing up toward the north right here and watching it closely here there's Pickens there's easily farther south there's the ID5 quarter where we see most of the action out of heart will and into Anderson and that's where we've seen it right there along the lake and the rotation as we look at it closer with our velocity product this is how we kind of look at an x-ray of the storm you see less green right here that is good news okay that means that the winds going toward our radar are slacking up a little bit. That's that inflow is getting cut off a little bit, which anytime you can disrupt that inflow, basically block it a little bit, it's going to help that rotation simmer down just a bit, which is what we're seeing right now. But in situations like this, I've seen it time in and time out that they fluctuate back up. And that's what we need to watch out for, because in Anderson and Greenville County, conditions are favorable. And what I mean by that is in the northern part of Greenville County, we're in the upper 60s right now. Southern part of Greenville County we're closer to 80 degrees and that's because we've seen just a, a hint more sunshine today in the southern part of uh, Greenville County Spartanburg and Anderson County and that boundary is where these storms kind of like to live there's really not a lot of ingredients in the atmosphere today for severe weather we've got plenty of wind energy we've just had soaking rain all day usually that kind of puts a wet blanket on top of a fire if you will for severe weather however this cell is a dangerous storm moving out of Anderson County it first started in Hart County, we were watching it start to wrap up, and as we started our four o'clock broadcast, it started to rotate uh, very quickly and more intensely as it crossed over into South Carolina over Lake Hartwell, which wouldn't surprise we've had a couple of touchdowns there just east of the lake right here. So getting uh, word here that this warning is going to continue until 530 for Greenville County. It's from this rotation right here. It sits right along the Pickens and Anderson County line. If you're at work right now, just hold tight. You know, we're hoping that this will continue to show signs that it's weakening and we can sound the all clear. If that happens, we'll let you know as soon as we can. But it's still a dangerous storm that has had a history of producing uh, some strong rotation. So uh, Powdersville, 510. Berea at 521. The Wade Hampton Boulevard area of Taylor's and Greer at about 528. The Sandy Flat area, that's near Otter Creek Water Park, 537. So within the next 15, 20 minutes, this is going to be passing through some very busy areas of Greenville County at a time of day that, that's really not ideal. you got ball practices, you've got after school activities, and you're just trying to get home on a busy Monday, okay? Live Super Doppler 4 in alert mode. This gives us that instant look at where these storms are located with no delay. That helps keep you safe in these situations because I can tell you street by street where this storm is located, and right now, along the Pickens and Anderson County line is where the most dangerous part of the storm is. You see that little hook right there. Notice it's not as pronounced as it once was. That's good news. That's a sign that you want to see. You want it to continue to show signs like that. But hail, uh, Powdersville, very close to our Doppler site, which sits right off of I-5, and then crossing into Parker, Berea, 
West Greenville and then pushing up uh, Highway uh, 29 and pushing into Greenville 276. Paris Mountain, Cherrydale, Taylors, Greer, Wadehampton Boulevard area. This warning right here uh, will continue for about another 15 to 20 minutes here across Pickens, Anderson, and Greenville County. That's where the warning sits basically from TR to downtown Greenville to Taylors. We're watching this closely here for you because this does show some signs that it is still rotating. Uh, the polygon here, as the National Weather Service is showing us, uh, has, has been adjusted, which is, is great. We can now tell you in downtown Anderson, you can come out of your safe place, but if you live in Piedmont, Powdersville, stay put. Hang tight because this cell sits right there along the Anderson and Pickens County line. And if this rotation continues to weaken, we're going to be able to tell you that things are looking a lot better for us in Greenville County. Live Super Doppler 4, just miles away from where this storm is located. That's the beauty of it right here. It gives us that instant look. There's the GSP uh, uh, velocity. We're able to see both right here. And I can tell you that this rotation is looking better for us. It's not looking as strong, which tells me this storm is trying to weaken as it moves into areas of Greenville County that have frankly had a ton of rain today. It's a worked over atmosphere. And if we can continue to get this atmosphere to kind of act like a wet blanket and throw, throw that uh, on a fire, we're going to be in better shape here, but we need to take it seriously. It's 5:11 right now. This storm is going to be crossing over the Saluda here uh, any minute now from Pickens County into Greenville County, just north of downtown and heading toward uh, areas of Paris Mountain, Powdersville, Berea, Piedmont Park, 521, Little Texas, 534. So these areas within the next 15 or 20 minutes of Greenville County, this storm is going to be right on top of you, okay? It's going to be one of those situations where we could have the storm uh, cycle back up. And that's what we've seen in some of these areas is uh, in, in Anderson County in particular, we had the storm fluctuate down just a bit and then flare back up. I'm not seeing it flare back up right now. Doesn't mean that it will not, but it's, you know, indications are pointing to me that this is looking better for us, but we need to still keep our guard up. This is one of those situations where Greenville is, it could be very close for you, downtown up through Traveler's Rest, but I'm liking what I'm seeing. Things are trending better for us. Yeah, I want you to be cautious. I want you to stay in your safe place. What that means is turn the TV up as loud as you can, get to an innermost part of your home, whether it be a hall closet, uh, underneath a staircase, those little closets that are usually good for a vacuum, get in there. Bring something inviting for the kids. This can be pretty scary when your phone's buzzing like ours were here at the studio earlier. Uh, bring some tablets, bring some books, make it kind of cozy. Uh, you know, it's one of those situations where it can be a scary situation for the kids. You want to really uh, make it inviting for them and, and teach them this is a situation where you need to kind of respect the weather and, and stay in your safe place until this storm passes. And the storm that's in question right now sits right there along the Anderson and Pickens County line just south of Easley, just north of Piedmont. And there sits live super Doppler 4 to give us that instant look at where the storms are. There's downtown Greenville. There's Traveler's Rest. It's going to cut a path right through downtown Greenville and Traveler's Rest within the next 15 minutes or so. Let's turn on our velocity. We'll see if this storm is still behaving the way that it was. You've still got plenty of wind going away from the radar, but I'm not seeing that influx of, of wind coming toward the radar, which is certainly some good news. There's an ounce of, of instability, or I should say rotation right there. But as we kind of put a loop on this and zoom out just a bit, I can show you that it was intense rotation back toward Lake Hartwell just uh, about uh, 15 or 20 minutes ago as this storm crossed out of Georgia and into Anderson County. It showed signs of some pretty intense rotation right in there. So possible tornado near Sandy Springs, Mason's Crossroad, right there, those brighter colors. This basically takes everything off the radar except for the rotation. Notice how that rotation, while intense, at about 5 o'clock, uh, 4.45 or so, right in there, about 4.50. It's possible we had a tornado uh, right on the northern side of the lake near Mason's Crossroad and Sandy Springs at about 4.49. And again, you're looking specifically at where the rotation was. Notice how it was still pretty stout at about 4.54. And then here we are closer to 5 o'clock, still some rotation in northern Anderson County. But as it moved into an area that's a little bit cooler, I mean, I'm talking 5, 10 degrees cooler, closer to 80 farther south, closer to the upper 60s farther north, it's starting to show signs of weakening, which is certainly good news. Where we sit right now, there's that rotation, the green and red. Notice it was together, it was together, and it kind of fell apart. What happened is that inflow of, of wind kind of got disrupted right there. Still have the possibility, as this is still a hook-shaped storm in Pickens and Greenville County, of it possibly giving us a tornado. But signs are pointing to this weakening, and if it continue, it would be great news for Greenville County. 
and need to watch this closely. There's that notch. There's the, the storm in question that could possibly be rotating. A fresh storm track on it here would indicate that this storm, should it continue on its same path at its same strength, would be in Hale at about 516, Parker at 523, Berea at about 526, and then the Piedmont Park area of Greenville around Cherrydale at about 533. So within 15 minutes or so, this is going to be into a big area of Greenville County just north of downtown Greenville. There sits downtown. Here's Paris Mountain, Cherrydale, and farther north would be Traveler's Rest. So right there in between Greenville and Traveler's Rest, this will be pushing on through. There's that storm in question. You see the hook right there, that little comma. Anytime you see a comma shape on Live Super Doppler 4, which Sydney and I were watching at about 4 o'clock, we noticed out of northeast Georgia, the storms were starting to take on that little shape of, of, of rotation, just a hint of rotation. Well, as it moved over Lake Hartwell, it really began to intensify, which is where we see that warning. Sits right now over Greenville County. You need to be seeking shelter in Greenville and Traveler's Rest and Taylor's. Get to your safe place. We hope to be able to kind of sound the all clear here, hopefully within the next 15 minutes or so, if this storm continues to behave as we are seeing it. But I can tell you, if we can look at some of our sky cams upstairs, guys, uh, follow along if we can. I think we have our Hilton Greenville sky cam and our Woodruff Road sky cam. Let's kind of take a look at both of those if we can to be able to show you what's going on. Here is our Hilton Greenville sky cam looking out over a cloudy Greenville. And this kind of tells the story of what we've seen throughout the day today. As we've seen the rain, the low clouds, that's kept things rather stable. And this storm is working into an area that's like that. How about our Woodruff Road sky cam? If we have that, we can show you what's happening across Woodruff Road. There it is. And that's looking off toward the north and west, which would show us a really uh, a good picture of what's coming toward downtown Greenville and these areas of the Haywood Mall, Woodruff Road. Very busy time of day. You see all the cars there on I-85, or 385, I should say, and Woodruff Road right there at the interchange. Need to watch that closely. And good news here. National Weather Service canceling the tornado warning here for Greenville County. So all signs are pointing to this threat coming down. With that said, it needs to be watched closely here. So we need to watch this. And Sydney, if we can go ahead and queue up a uh, main weather, I guess we'll kind of continue on with main weather here, kind of show you big picture where we're heading. Then we'll get you back to the regular scheduled news here as we've uh, taken up about 30, 45 minutes tracking these storms here as they've been rather dangerous across the area here. But I can tell you good news here, Greenville, Pickens, and Anderson County, the threat has come down enough that the tornado warning has been canceled. And I can tell you, I've got the tools here on my phone, my watch, and right here to my left, I'm not seeing signs of, of damage. I have not heard damage yet. I'm going to go take up kind of a consensus of the newsroom, see what the folks working hard in the newsroom are seeing. But so far, we're not hearing of any major damage. That's good news. And this storm that was in Anderson County, where temperatures are in the mid 70s, working into an area that's been cloudy and rainy, where we're in the low to mid 70s. So it's working into an area that's a little bit more stable over northern Greenville County. So the good news is that storm that was feisty over Anderson in an area that's a lot more unstable is behaving a lot more like we'd like to see it over Greenville County where these temperatures are a lot different. Upper 60s to around 70 in the northern part of the upstate, closer to 80 in the southern part of the upstate. That clash of warm and cooler air with that cell just was enough to get it going there across Hart County into Anderson County, which gave us that threat for a tornado. But I can tell you, things are looking a lot better for us in Greenville County. So when you wake up tomorrow morning in Greenville, the rain coming to an end, hey, our severe threat coming to an end as we go into the next, I'd say two hours, about another two hours of a threat for storms. I hope that can be trimmed back a little bit earlier because the storms in question that would give us severe weather are moving through right now. As you wake up tomorrow, we'll see temperatures in the mid 60s. Can't roll out a shower at any time throughout the day as it's going to be kind of a wet environment. But the stormy activity, the blanket of rain that we had today, that threat starting to come to an end for Western North Carolina. Same story. I can't roll out rain at any given time throughout the day tomorrow. Temperatures are going to be highly dependent upon how much sunshine you see. It can range from the low to mid 70s to the mid 80s tomorrow. We've got 84 in Greenville, 85 in Anderson, 78 in Greenville. I think we're going to see a good bit of sunshine tomorrow, but if you're particular town stays cloudy, well, you're going to stay a lot cooler tomorrow. So this storm activity moves out of our area uh, later on this evening, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock. Things should be a lot better across the area. When you wake up tomorrow, could certainly have some fog in some locations and watching it very closely here as we go into tomorrow morning.
things are looking okay. The sun should come out by about mid afternoon, and if that happens, we're going to be seeing conditions warm up a lot. We'll have a pop up storm or two, but the severe threat much, much lower tomorrow. Even today, it was a low end threat, but enough to get something going. That's why we say even a low threat can give us an isolated severe event. And right now, across uh, the area, we have a chance for some storms tomorrow afternoon and evening, but they wouldn't be widespread or widespread severe. We'll certainly have some lightning, some heavy rain out of this activity tomorrow evening, but going into Wednesdays when we need to watch for maybe a little bit of an uptick in shower chances as we go throughout the day, about a 50 to 60 percent chance of storms, and that takes us to Wednesday evening. Low pressure back toward the west, a cold front on the way. This is going to bring us a better chance for rain on Thursday. That looks to be another impact day across the area. We'll start off with a few spotty showers, but the heaviest rain still back toward the west. This will push off toward the east and provide for very heavy and very widespread storm activity that will move on through Thursday evening, even into Thursday night. Good for another inch, maybe two inches in some locations. We need the rain, and we've gone from one extreme to the other, right? After no rain for several days and no substantial rain for weeks, we're going to get another round of at least an inch across the area as we go into Thursday night. The good news here, by Friday morning, we're clearing out. This will move on through. Sun will begin to shine on Friday and setting us up for a beautiful Memorial Day weekend. We'll have sunshine, some cooler air even on Saturday. Uh, lows in the upper 50s, highs in the uh, around upper 70s to around 80 degrees. That's Saturday. Sunday, our winds turn around out of the south, bringing in some warmer air for us. I still think we're dry. But as we go into Sunday, Monday's time frame, more of a southerly or southeasterly wind will bring in more moisture from the coast, and that'll give us a better chance for mainly afternoon activity. So even on Memorial Day, I've got thunderstorms in the forecast. It's not going to be a washout, but give us a better chance for some isolated thunderstorms. So the four day looks like this a 50% chance of scattered activity tomorrow, high of 71. But if you see more sunshine, those temperatures will be closer to 80 degrees. By Wednesday, we've got 77 degrees, some scattered mainly afternoon thunderstorms. And then Thursday, I've issued an Impact day. The activity is going to be more widespread. It's going to be more heavy, high near 80 degrees. And then by Friday, we've got uh, drying conditions in 80. By the weekend, beautiful. Lower humidity levels. It's going to be super nice Saturday and Sunday with pop up storms returning to the forecast by Monday. In the mountains, we've got an impact day for Thursday as well with widespread storms and uh, rain and then clearing out just in time for the weekend. Chief Meteorologist Chris Justice. Chris.